Hey guys, it's Josh, back at it again with another video for y'all. I'm out here back in my backyard, um, just doing a quick, actually another unboxing video for you guys. I ordered a lens, I had to wait on it to actually come in. I had pre-ordered it because it was a very brand new release, like literally I think it came out not even a week before I ordered the R6, which I'm actually filming on here now. I'm actually filming in 4K for the very first time, so I'm very excited to see what that's gonna look like. And then I'm also filming at 4K at 30 frames per second, so we're gonna see if that looks even better or worse than 1080p at 60 frames per second. This is more of an experiment than anything else, but not to talk too much about video specs, let's get to the unboxing. Today, I got the brand new, when I say brand new, I mean it is brand new, RF 100 to 400 millimeter lens. Let's see if it'll focus on it. Yeah. So we're gonna open the box for y'all. Let's, shall we get started? All right, so we've got the Canon RF 100 to 400 millimeter, as you guys can see right here not opened the box before so let's see what we got all right big reveal da, 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 da. you've got some more of that crappy plastic that i've already complained about with the r6 unboxing let's see here's the actual lens let's see what we've got here Ooh, let's not lose that to the wind all right so we got the 100 to 400 millimeter it's got a locking mechanism so you won't have any lens creep right here. All right, so we've got an autofocus and manual focus switch as well as a stabilizer on and off switch here. It will start at 100 millimeters and you turn it to where it goes to 400 millimeters. So you've got that right there. You have the very first ring is your zoom ring. Then the middle ring is your uh, manual focus ring. And then you have a control ring here on the top. Um, a lot of people allow, like to program that to aperture or ISO. Me personally, I typically don't use the control rings. It's just never been anything that has really interested me. I grew up using the command dials on cameras, not the control rings on lenses. So it's just, it's a weird, weird fluke for me. Um, so that is that. You have a 67 millimeter filter thread here. So when you get filters or lens, lens hoods or anything like that, lens caps, make sure you get a 67 millimeter filter thread. You'll see it says 100 to 400 millimeter. It's f5.6 to f8 on your aperture. So as you zoom in, you will lose aperture depending on what focal length you will be at. Um, we'll find out here in a little bit on my first test through of this, what that entails. So that's the lens. That's kind of an overview of the lens. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the warranty information as you get with every lens or camera. And then the other piece of plastic to hold it in place. The one thing I am a little uh, miffed, I don't know if miffed is the right word or disappointed, there is no lens hood in the camera. Uh, or there's no lens hood in the box. So when you do purchase this lens, you will not be getting a lens hood to go over the front of the lens. I kind of had hoped that we would have that, but unfortunately we do not. So that is the unboxing of the Canon RF 100 to 400 millimeter. It is an RF lens, so it will fit natively onto any R series camera, whether it's the EOS RP, the R, the R6, the R5, or the new R3. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick the difference between 100 millimeter and 400 millimeter. So right now you are looking at 100 millimeters on the Canon EOS R6. So shooting at 4K at 30 frames per second. So we're gonna photograph, or we're gonna video, I should say, that little white thing right there. We're gonna zoom in on that. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna zoom on it. So. We are now at 200 millimeter and then 300 millimeter and now 400 millimeter. So you have quite a bit of range that you can work with in 100 to 400 millimeter. Lot to work with here. So 
So at 135, it switches to F6.3. I'd say about right here, it switches to F7.1. So that looks like it's about 175, maybe 180, 190. I'm not to the 200 mark yet. Now I'm at 200. And let's just keep seeing, oh wait. So it looks like at 300 mil, it switches to F8. So 300 and 400 mil, you are looking at F8. And I'm so sorry for the shaky footage. I just had put my tripod away. So there we go, guys. All right, so that is the unboxing of the Canon RF 100 to 400 millimeter. I'm very excited to start testing this thing out. I bought this primarily for use, like if I ever got into um, some sports, I bought it for uh, like wildlife photography and for those landscapes where if you want to photograph a mountain that's you know 20 miles away and you don't want to hike that 20 miles, this will get you there. So now with my 24 to 105, my 50 millimeter 1.8 that I'm filming on right now, my 100 to 400 and a 16 to 35 millimeter F4 that I have, I am actually covered at every focal length from 16 on the wide side to 400 on the tight, on the telephoto side. So I have access to now every focal length under the sun really. And then of course I can also throw the camera in super 35 mode and also film or get a 1.6 crop as well. So that will give me even more reach. Very excited to try this guy out. Without further ado guys, Peace.